Here are some tips to play better in Hell Let Loose. First off, smoke grenades. Now too many times when I play the game I see people using smoke grenades wrong and by wrong I mean they either drop them at their feet or they throw smoke grenades just in front of their own front line. That is the wrong thing to do. What you need to do is not block your own vision, you need to block the enemy's vision. So always throw smoke grenades at the enemy, block their front line because what that will do is immediately block where they can see giving you a lot more room really to move around. You could push up across an open field if you wanted to, but if you drop smoke grenades in front of you, you would run into the smoke, out of the smoke, into an open field, right? It's kind of common sense. Block the enemy's vision, not your own. Now when you're playing the game and you're just running around, have you ever come across a situation where you've seen maybe one guy or a handful of guys just running from seemingly a random direction towards your objective that you need to defend. Well, what you should do in this situation is maybe not immediately fire upon them, report their position to your squad leader so we can let everyone else know, and then run in the direction they came from because it could be quite likely that they've just come from an outpost or a garrison that you need to take out. And taking out that enemy spawn point is a lot more important than just getting a few more kills because when you are defending a location, the only way to really successfully defend that location is to stop the enemy attacking you, which kind of sounds a bit silly or like normal, but you need to take out the enemy spawn points to stop them attacking you. So push out and get that spawn point. And this leads me on to a tactic I use when I'm defending an objective, mainly as a squad leader. What I'll do, because you have six guys, it can be quite boring just to sit in the strong point, which is the circle on the map, and just defend that. And that's the wrong thing to do. You need to defend the four squares that the strong point is in. So what I do is I stay in the strong point with one other squad member, possibly an engineer, so he can build up some defenses and put down some mines. And then I split the other four guys into two separate squads and I send them out to patrol around the edge of the four squares, trying to hunt down where the enemy is possibly coming from, maybe to try and spot the enemy before they can get into position to build spawn points, or to spot those potentially already built spawn points. If you then spot something, maybe get your other mini squad to reinforce the squad that spotted the enemy position to take it out, or all of you converge on that position. Just keep an eye on the actual strong point in case enemies try to push in from another direction. Something I always talk about in my streams or on Reddit and other comments, I always talk about something called T-Rex mode. And what T-Rex mode is, is pretty much getting into a position where you've got some cover or concealment and then just watching. And that's simply because if you're just looking at a set place without you know, actually like moving around and looking around, it's a lot easier to spot movement. Even if that's movement behind hedges, you'll more than likely spot it. Really, I think it's just something to do with how human vision works. But by doing this and moving up to cover or concealment, sitting down and just watching for a bit, it will help to sort of slow down your gameplay a bit, which isn't really a bad thing because if you keep rushing around, rushing past like cover and concealment, you could easily get taken out. So get up to somewhere, T-Rex mode, take out the enemy, move on. Now this tip is something you can use in every first person shooter and you really should. And it's simply not repeating the same angle. So what this is, is if you're behind a bit of cover, let's say a box, and you've peeked out from the right hand side of the box to take shots at the enemy, don't peek out that same side for the next time you peek out. Peek out from the left or above you. Keep changing where you peek out from because really what's going to be happening from the enemy's point of view, if you peek out from one side, he's going to probably still be aiming at that one side, waiting for you to peek out again, and he'll get an easy shot on you keep changing up where you peek from. It will it will save you. Now this might be a very unknown thing in Hell Let Loose, but when you prone and start crawling around, while to you, you make noise, you can hear yourself crawling around, but to the enemy, you make absolutely zero noise. So if you wanna be like a solid snake, snake crawling through the grass to be super stealthy, do it because they won't hear you, but, because of how 
grass and foliage rendering works in the game if you try to crawl at a very long distance away they'll be easily able to see you so this could be something you could use when you get to like hedges trying to crawl up to an enemy position or something like that just remember proning and crawling makes zero noise has it ever happened to you that when you take out an enemy op or a garrison then suddenly like a second later an enemy spawns where that spawn point was and that's because of how spawn points work in hell at loose when you click to spawn on an op or a garrison you get locked in for the last few seconds and then when that op or garrison gets taken out during those last few seconds you will still spawn in that location so when you move up and take out an enemy op or garrison airhead or forward position which will be in the skirmish mode just watch that same point for a couple of seconds because you could get a cheeky enemy respawn which would lead to well a couple of easy kills maybe so just keep an eye on it just for a moment and lastly keep checking your map when i'm playing the game even not as a squad leader i am constantly checking my map simply because i'm looking out for enemy markers on the map to see where tanks have been reported or infantry have been reported but also looking at our own spawn points garrisons and ops to see if they've got that red triangle in them which means the enemy are close by and simply by doing this you're going to be spotting the enemy without physically actually seeing them just being able to know where the enemy are moving yeah it could just be one guy wandering around or it could be an entire squad that have pushed in from like a sneaky position and this is incredibly important when you're defending a location because putting down garrisons and ops around that position you're defending it pretty much acts as like an early warning system because you'll be able to see where the enemy are coming in from just because of the warnings on on the map right so spot those early warnings send out people to check them out take out the infantry move up and then take out their spawn points to successfully defend now if you want more tips and guides then subscribe to the channel because more will be coming and i also stream hell let loose on youtube and i will be trialing a multi-stream on twitch which i'll put links in the description below and you can support this channel by becoming a youtube member by clicking the join button just below the video and a big shout out to the current members and patrons of the channel so thank you guys for watching give the video a like if you liked it dislike if you didn't subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one